started. Hey everyone, happy hump day. It's Brittany, the program manager of Exos at Autodesk. Um, welcome to your midweek stretch break. Um, if you have anything that you would like to stretch, please drop it in the chat. I'm happy to accommodate. Definitely going to do some hip flexors today, um, some chest, some shoulders, low back stuff, um, you know, the usual stuff uh, that, that gets tight and yucky from sitting for too long. So we are going to start on the ground, on your back, so make your way down. Okay, so like I said, we're going to start on our backs today. Legs are going to be stretched out. Find a comfortable laying down position. And from here, we're going to start real easy. So we're going to bring our right knee into our chest. Grab either the back of the thigh or your shin. Pull it into your chest. And then we're going to release. And we're going to go to the other side. So if you start with the right, we're going to the left. Pulling it into our chest. You might feel some cracking and popping in the hips. Maybe, maybe just me. And let's switch again. So we're just bringing, we've been sitting all day in a, a flex position. So we're bringing ourselves into a more flex position right now than before. Switch. You get, might get a little stretch through the glute. For most of us, we don't need too much of a stretch with this big glute muscle. We haven't been using it today very much, most likely. Let's switch. But it feels really good on the hip joints and we're just getting everything moving again after being still for probably many hours. And let's go ahead and switch for the last time. Bringing that left knee into chest, finding what feels good. And release. Okay, something similar, but a little bit different. We're gonna keep that left leg stretched out, but this time we're going to grab our right knee and try and bring it towards our left shoulder. If that doesn't feel great, you can also use your left hand to grab your right ankle. So whatever gives you the best leverage. So this time the stretch is gonna be more on the outside of our hip. And let's go ahead and switch, extending the right leg, bringing left knee to opposite shoulder, maybe grabbing onto the left ankle as well. Nice, and switch. Being gentle with yourself, of course. You're not just yanking on our body, trying to will it into position. That's not gonna help any. Should feel good. And go ahead and switch. Might be a little uncomfortable getting things moving again after not moving for too long, but should never be painful, no sharp shooting, stabbing pain. You shouldn't be making the pain face. Should be able to settle into it. And let's go ahead and do one more on each side. So go ahead and release that leg, bringing the knee across, maybe grabbing the ankle as well. Breathe and switch for the last time, releasing that right leg to the ground, left knee comes to chest and then across. Good, breathe into this last side and relax. Nicely done. Let's give the lower body a little bit of a break and we're gonna roll onto our side. So making our way onto our side, we're gonna do, as promised, a chest opener. We're also opening up our back working on the shoulders a little bit as well. So this is called the 90-90 with arm sweep. So your knees are gonna be in line with your hips. Your ankles are gonna be in line with your knees. I find most people, their knees aren't thin enough. They're down here. You wanna bring those knees up. So they're making a 90 degree angle with your hips. Arms are gonna be straight out in front of you like you're making alligator arms. You can, Hold your head up, you can rest it on the ground, or you can find a yoga block or pillow, whatever feels the most comfortable. So keeping our hips completely still, keeping our bottom arm on the ground, I want you to think like a windshield wiper. So you're moving your top arm in the same direction as a windshield wiper would go. So 
keeping those fingers an inch above the ground, maybe touching the ground if you can. You're going to reach above your head, keep those fingers on the ground, keep those knees touching. Allow your chest to open up, reach that top shoulder towards the ground behind you and going, bringing that top arm as far around as you can until it lifts up off the ground or until you've opened up 180 degrees like a windshield wiper and then come back the way you came. So that might take you a moment to watch this video and, and watch me doing this a couple times, but once you get it, it starts to feel really good. So we're keeping that lower body completely immobilized. We're protecting our low back and we're only moving through the shoulder of that top arm and top shoulder. Keep going at your own pace, breathing into it, hopefully opening up through the back and through the shoulder a little bit more with each repetition. I'm doing my right side first. I'm right-handed. This side is always tighter. Definitely takes three or four reps to really settle into it. Nice, make sure you're breathing as you're doing this. The speed doesn't matter too much as long as you're moving with control rather than momentum. You can close your eyes if, if you'd like, make this really relaxing, or you can keep them open. If you are keeping them open, eyeballs should be following your fingertips as much as possible. And wherever you're at with this one, this is going to be the last repetition. So as soon as you get back to start, we're going to switch sides and go to the other side. All right. Nicely done, take your time. You can just flip over if you'd like. I'm gonna flip over to the other side so you can see what I'm doing. Principles are the same on this other side, though it might feel really different. So once again, knees are stacked, 90 degree angles with your knees and hips. Arms are out like you're making alligator arms and we're keeping those top fingers within reach of the floor as we open up overhead. Going as far as we can go without pain, without the fingers lifting more than a couple inches. And then coming back the way you came to where you started. And as you're doing this on the side, just take notice. How's it feel compared to the first side? Is one side tighter than the other? Does one side just not move as well in general? Is there any pain on one side versus the other? Good to always take notice of these things. And of course, focus on your breath. Are you breathing? Are, these, are there spots in this movement where it's hard to breathe, where you find yourself holding your breath or gritting your teeth just to get through it? If that's the case, just don't go any further. Don't push it. This should feel good. Your range of motion will naturally get bigger the more you do this. All right, wherever you're at, let's do one more full repetition. Best you can do, keeping those knees and hips still. Don't let them move on this last one. And then once you get back to center, go ahead and relax. Nicely done, everyone. Okay, go ahead and make your way onto hands and knees. So wrists right underneath shoulder, knees right underneath your hips. We're gonna do a few cat cows here, cat camels, they're called both things. So we're going to really arch our backs, point our tailbone to the ceiling, look up towards the ceiling, and then we're gonna bend our spine the other way, tucking the tailbone under our hips, Rounding our back, letting the head drop between the arms. And just start flowing at your own pace. Now in yoga, there's very specific ways to breathe with this movement. But for our purposes today, I just want you to keep breathing. Don't overthink it. Just make sure you're not holding your breath at any point. 
that exhale is where we're going to get a lot of our relaxation, where we're going to release tension from our body. So focus on that, the deep inhales, the deep exhales, and just how good it feels. And let's do one more in each direction. So one more cat, one more cow, and we'll meet back in center. Nicely done. All right, we are back in center now. So one last stretch for the day. We'll do this on each side. This is the pretzel. Um, if you've been going to Jazzy Stretch Breaks, she's been doing this a lot. I love this one. I'm terrible at it, so that means we need to do it more, right? So you're going to be laying on your side. Top knee is going to go on the ground. You're going to use your bottom arm to just anchor your top knee in place. From here, you're going to take your top hand, and you're gonna reach for your bottom foot or ankle. And then from here, inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, try and bring that top shoulder to the ground. Look over your top shoulder and then pull on that bottom leg. A lot going on here. Take a couple breaths. You should be able to breathe. Stretching a little bit of everything. So front of our thighs, hip flexors, chest, back, even our neck, shoulders. And let's go ahead and relax. Come back to start, little relief here. We're gonna do one more on the side. Inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, we stretch. Keep that chin tucked, should be able to breathe. Keep pulling on that bottom leg. Relax into it with each exhale. And let's go ahead and relax completely. Release the bottom leg. Roll onto your side and let's switch sides. Once again, get to the other side, however you'd like. Last stretch of the day, doing the pretzel on this side. So once again, top knee goes on the floor. Use bottom arm to ankle, anchor that top knee. Grab the bottom ankle or foot with that top hand. We're going to inhale to prepare on the exhale. We twist, pull on that bottom leg, get that hip flexor stretch, look over that top shoulder, focus on your exhales. And let's return back to center. We have one more. Once again, inhale to prepare, get a good grip. And on that exhale, pull on that bottom leg, bring that top shoulder to the ground. Try and relax the head as much as you can and breathe. And go ahead and release that top leg, bottom leg, excuse me, and roll onto your side. And you can continue to lay there if you'd like. Sometimes that feels nice. But that is all we have time for today. Hopefully you feel better than when you started the stretch break. I know I always need it. So reminder, tomorrow we have exercise with Exos and we do have our Strava challenge going on right now. So you only need the free version of Strava to participate. You can walk, you can run, but one of the challenges in our Strava challenge is a brick. And if you're a triathlete, brick is usually a bike and run. 
but in this case tomorrow it means going to one of our boot camp classes or exercise with exos whether it's live or recorded and then immediately after the class going on a 10 minute run at least a 10 minute run um, embrace those jello legs it's only going to make you stronger so we hope you have fun with it and that you can join us tomorrow uh, we also have stretch break at 11 and 2.30 with Luis, so we'll see you all then.